Kurumba Maldives is a five-star resort on the island of Vihamanafushi, in the Maldives. Managed by Universal Resorts, Kurumba Maldives is the country's first Maldives resort. It was designed by architect Mohamed Shafi. The resort opened in 1972 with its founders including local Maldivians, Muhammad Umar Maniku and Ahmed Nassim, Karafa Nassim. Named after the word for coconut in the local Dibayi language, Kurumba began with 30 rooms constructed using local material with walls made from coral stone and roofs composed of palm thatch. Kurumba is located in the North Malay Atoll, part of the Kafu Atoll, a section of islands close to the airport where a number of resorts are located. After passing through customs at Malay International Airport, guests are met by a representative, usually at a numbered kiosk, where they will be led, luggage on a cart, to a large speedboat. Depending on the wind and weather, the ride to the resort can be choppy, but the journey takes only about 10 minutes. Kurumba is the closest private island to the airport. The Maldives is a distinct nation in the Indian Ocean consisting of 26 atolls and over 1,190 islands. Each resort there are over 100 of them, is situated on an individual private island with access to incredible marine life there is plenty of diving and snorkeling to be had at Bandos. Guests can walk the entire island, but may need to wear bring sandals, as some pads are not meant for bare feet. Since the island is closer to the city of Malay, there will be more boat and air traffic in the vicinity. Guests may also find the dark man-made barriers surrounding the island, and protecting the lagoon, an eyesore. Though the state religion of the Maldives is Sunni Islam, private islands like these are allowed to serve alcohol. Beaches around the island are protected by large sandbags to help keep the lagoon and house reef safe from corrosion. Water is calm and turquoise, and loner snorkeling gear is free. The house reef has colorful marine life and is located past the protective man-made barrier. Due to islands' close proximity to the capital, marine life here may be less impressive than at outer islands. During check-in, an elegant presentation of coconut ice cream is offered to guests before they are taken to their accommodations on various parts of the island. Some rooms are located closer to the beach than others, while sun loungers, designated by room numbers, surround the shore. It is easy to walk the entire circumference of the island, and guests may also take inland pathways. It is easy to get turned around the first day or two, but landmarks such as the Orchid Garden or the Staff Mosque can help remind guests where they are. Days are spent lazing away at the beach or two pools, or enjoying one of the many excursions available. Before sunset, many tend to snag a bean bag at Athiri Bar on the west side of the beach where live jazz musicians make their rounds. There are several high-end a la carte restaurants, Dilla is a highlight, otherwise those on a specific meal plan can expect to eat at the main buffet. This resort can feel more lively than others, nightly entertainment takes place in the main open-air bar with chic day beds and lounge areas, and in the indoor disco where a DJ spin tunes late into the night. Families and couples seeking solitude can head back to their rooms, which are far from earshot. Renovations and additions have helped keep this older resort fresh. Nine room types are situated around the island, many are either on the beach or a quick walk away. Sun loungers along the shore are not communal but rather come with specific room numbers to avoid confusion. Decor is basic but clean and contemporary, white linens, accent bed runners and pillows, and, in most wood floors, some are tile. All have outdoor balconies or patios as well as open-air bathrooms with separate tubs and showers. Bathrobes and rubber flip-flops are provided, as well as toal. Two free bottles of drinking water are replenished daily, as are coffee and tea. Fully stocked minibars come with tea liquors, wine, beer, juices, and soft drinks. Attendants, sometimes a little intrusively, may come to the door while guests are showering and packing to take stock of the minibar before checkout. Superior rooms are in two-story buildings and have spacious bathrooms with double sinks as well as both indoor and outdoor showers. Deluxe rooms are smaller but housed in standalone bungalows, good for couples seeking privacy, and located closer to the shore. The bathrooms here are smaller with only one sink and one shower. Deluxe bungalows have more privacy and outdoor daybeds. Beachfront deluxe bungalows are closer to the water and have private terraces with sun loungers. Garden pool villas and deluxe pool villas offer more space for families than the bungalows as well as upgraded amenities such as Nespresso coffee machines and private plunge pools. The private villa with jacuzzi faces sunrise with a large bedroom and separate living room. The presidential pool villa is a two-level unit for couples and families with a spacious private courtyard and private plunge pool. The Royal Kurumba residence has two separate wings, each with a master bedroom and bathrooms, private pool, and hot tub. In both of these categories, 24-hour butler service is offered. 
Higher tier room types, the beachfront deluxe bungalow and above, also include made-to-order breakfast at Villa Restaurant, instead of the buffet. Kurumba is well known for its all-inclusive packages, and guests can choose the half-board rate breakfast and dinner at the main buffet, full-board rate breakfast, lunch, and dinner at the main buffet, or the full-board all-inclusive rate, which covers unlimited soft drinks, juices, water, coffee, tea, beer, wine, liquors, and cocktails in the bars and main buffet. Buffet spreads vary daily, but breakfast tends to stay the same, expect an impressive array of fresh pastries, teas, fresh fruits, omelette and waffle stations, and several Asian and European hot and cold dishes. Those in some higher category room types can dine at Villa Restaurant for made-to-order breakfast items, such as eggs benedict or crepes, as well as fresh squeezed juices and unlimited sparkling wine. Villa is the standout restaurant for dinner as well, it was opened in 2014 and is one of the best dining venues in the country, with romantic lighting in the evenings, an open kitchen serving gourmet cuisine, and glittering water views in the background. Though expensive, this restaurant is as a highlight and worth the splurge for a special occasion. Compared to other resorts at the same price point, Kurumba has a nice selection of international restaurant options, though prices will add up fast. These include the Waterfront Hamakas Restaurant for Tapaniki and Sushi, Al Khazar for Lebanese and Moroccan cuisine, Mahal for Northern and Southern Indian cuisine, and East, which combines cuisine from Thailand, China and Vietnam. Duo is another romantic choice with a sophisticated indoor seating and candlelit ambience, serving Italian and French cuisine. An all-day à la carte café facing the pool has snacks as well as casually elegant lunches and dinners. That's all, and by the way, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to let you notify for our upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.